Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into the world of a vaccine called flu mist, commonly known by its generic name, Influenza Vaccine Live, Nasal. As with all our discussions, this is meant for educational purposes. If you have health-related questions or concerns, always reach out to a medical professional. Description Flu mist, also known as the Influenza Vaccine Live, Nasal, is a vaccine administered through the nose to help protect against influenza, flu. Unlike traditional flu shots, which are injected, flu mist is a nasal spray. Approved by the FDA, flu mist is a live attenuated influenza vaccine, LAIV, that contains weakened flu viruses, designed to stimulate the body's immune response without causing the actual disease. It's primarily recommended for healthy individuals aged 2 to 49 years old. The vaccine is formulated to protect against the influenza viruses that research indicates will be most common during the upcoming flu season. Flu mist is particularly useful for those who prefer an alternative to the injection and is effective in preventing influenza and its potential complications. Warnings Flu mist comes with its set of precautions. It's not suitable for everyone, especially not for individuals with certain medical conditions. People with severe allergic reactions to any component of the vaccine or to previous influenza vaccines should not use flu mist. Additionally, it's not recommended for pregnant women, individuals with weakened immune systems, children younger than 2 years, and adults 50 years and older. Those with a history of severe asthma or active wheezing, as well as individuals with a history of Guillain-Barre syndrome, a severe paralytic illness, should avoid this vaccine. Also, people who have received other live vaccines within the past month or who are on medications that weaken the immune system should consult their healthcare provider before using flu mist. Before taking this vaccine. Before receiving flu mist, it's important to discuss your medical history with your healthcare provider. Inform them if you have had any allergic reactions to vaccines, a history of asthma or recurrent wheezing, chronic diseases, or if you are taking any immunosuppressive medications. Those who have recently had a nasal condition or surgery, or who are in close contact with individuals with severely weakened immune systems, should also exercise caution. Pregnant women and breastfeeding mothers should discuss the potential risks and benefits with their healthcare provider. Additionally, if you have a fever or are feeling ill, you should wait until you recover before getting the vaccine. Side Effects Like all vaccines, flu mist can cause side effects, though not everyone experiences them. Common side effects include a runny or stuffy nose, sore throat, cough, and headache. Some individuals might experience muscle aches, fever, and fatigue. In rare cases, more severe side effects can occur, such as severe allergic reactions, anaphylaxis, wheezing, and Guillain-Barre syndrome. It's important to monitor for any unusual symptoms after receiving the vaccine and seek medical attention if you experience severe side effects or signs of an allergic reaction, such as difficulty breathing, swelling of the face and throat, or hives. Interactions Flu mist may interact with other medications and vaccines. Inform your healthcare provider about all the medications, supplements, and vaccines you are currently taking. Live vaccines given within a short period of each other can potentially interfere with their effectiveness, so spacing out the administration of live vaccines is often recommended. If you are taking antiviral medications for influenza, such as oseltamivir, Tamiflu, or zanamivir, Relenza, you should avoid using them for 48 hours before and 14 days after receiving flu mist, as they can interfere with the effectiveness of the vaccine. Dosage The correct dosage is vital for the effectiveness of flu mist. For children aged 2 to 8 years who are receiving the vaccine for the first time, two doses are recommended, spaced at least four weeks apart. For those who have previously been vaccinated, only one dose per flu season is needed. For individuals aged 9 to 49 years, one dose per flu season is sufficient. Always adhere to your healthcare provider's recommendations regarding the dosage and administration of the vaccine. Avoid. While on flu mist, it's important to avoid close contact with individuals with severely weakened immune systems for at least seven days following vaccination, as the live attenuated virus can potentially be transmitted. Maintaining good hygiene, such as washing hands regularly and covering your mouth and nose when sneezing or coughing, can help prevent the spread of influenza. FAQ Many wonder about the age restrictions for flu mist. Currently, it is approved for use in individuals aged 2 to 49 years old. The safety and effectiveness of flu mist in children younger than 2 years and adults older than 49 years have not been established. 
It's always best to consult with a healthcare provider for any specific queries related to this vaccine. Closing. That wraps up our overview of flu mist. Remember, this information aims to educate and should not replace professional medical advice. Always consult with a healthcare provider for any questions or concerns. Thank you for tuning in.